always say the house is sort of Marilyn Monroe meets Frankenstein. I think the thing about having a favorite room in, the, in my house is hard because so many fun and interesting things have happened in the rooms. Whenever I enter my dining room, it's always like the memories of, of all the girls having their crazy dinners and, and, and the iconic sort of conversations that took place in these rooms. I mean, if these walls could talk, you are a slut and a liar and a hypocrite. Oh, very nice. And a snake. You don't touch the f***ing Morgan letters. When I was redoing Blue Stone Man the first time in 2005, it needed a lot of work. But over the years, I mean, over 100 years, it just lost a lot of its shine and stuff. So when I came into this dining room, as you can see all the walls, it's all paneled and it's kind of got this green hand painted ceiling and these beautiful Venetian fabric. It's like velvet, fresh velvet. I came in and I said, I want to restore it and sort of pay respect to it and not sort of renovate it. When you walk from the hallway to the dining room, I wanted you to get the feeling that you were starting the process of being outside. The room it has sort of a very sultry, kind of Venetian feel, quite frankly. So it has a lot of glamorous components, a lot of the original features and structures, and then we just added fun little oddities, like the turtle, you know, the big, huge tur turtle shell that I bought in London from the state. And, you know, the, I had this table made, actually it's an Italian table, and sitting area, so you could sit in the morning. I'm really big on the sitting area. You know, January 2000, 18, I had a major, major flood. The, the major work was all internal, but a lot of the curtains and the paint on the wall had to be redone. I changed a lot of the fabrics and I updated it a little bit. I've kind of done it during the touch with sort of brighter colors. I had these curtains in my, the same fabric in my house in London when I lived there and I never got over them. So I resourced it and found it and made these curtains for the billiard room which I just think are fantastic. And it matches with the ceiling, you see? So this is actually one of my favorite rooms too. My other favorite, favorite room, as everyone knows, it's a little messy, everyone, because we're living in it. This is one of my most favorite rooms. I like sitting in this room because it, it, you really feel like it represents the structure of the house the most and what the house was meant to be built for, which is, you know, entertaining and lounging and being with friends. And, you know, it's it's a grand old house. And you can feel that probably a lot of great parties took place in that room in the early 20th century. When we lived here all as a family, we always had big Saturday night dinners. And they would start in the kitchen and spill out into this dining room. We were big game players and, you know, had endless conversations and people want to eat and lounge it's it's literally very informally formal or formally informal you know and uh yeah i just think we've had a lot of happy long slightly drunken nights here <laughs>